Oh my God, check him out, Trader. Oh, oh, oh my God, no, no, you did not. That's like rubbing, that's like rubbing salt in the wound, man. <laughs> God, it's such a shame to see her go. It really is. When you think iconic Las Vegas resorts, this should be one of the ones on top of your list. I'm gonna steal part of a movie line here. Part of a movie line here. She may not be the prettiest girl at the ball, but she's beautiful nonetheless. And it's just an absolute heartbreak to see this hotel go. We all know somebody who worked here. I had family members that worked here. Rosie's mom worked here for over 40 years. And when they talked about tearing this thing down, I'm like, they're never gonna tear down the trop. Why would they tear down the trop? Just needs a refurbish. Nope, I'm gonna tear it down for a sports arena. I'm not happy about it. I think it's super cool that they're recognizing their employees on the marquee outside. Five plus years of service. And the list of names all the way down the left there and what they do in the casino. That's super cool. This is the last day of the Tropicana Hotel Resort. And we're gonna walk right in the front doors, just like we did in the old days. Look who it is. Turn it up world is here. Great to see you guys. Yeah, yeah. That is <laughs> That's the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Oh, I screwed up the jump. This is fun for later. <laughs> you guys had the same idea I had. Last day of the. Yeah. Oh, this is the only day we're coming. I was born here, so I've been in here a million times, but yeah. So. So great to see you guys. Awesome. I'm glad to have you on part of the video. For those of you who don't know who this is, and I know you all do, this is Turn It Up World, who I did not recognize two Halloweens ago on Fremont Street. Sat there and talked to him for like 15 minutes, didn't recognize who you were. Yeah. Straight out of Vegas, coming in hot. What's going on, man? Are you ready for this? It's the last night. It's the last night of an iconic Las Vegas casino. Oh my God, check him out, Trader. Oh, oh, oh my God, no, no, you did not. That's like rubbing, that's like rubbing salt in the wound, man. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Well, the reports of all the machines being off weren't exactly accurate. There's a lot of machines, and there's a lot of people playing right now. There's a lot of machines that are still on, is what I meant. And a lot of people on table games. What a beautiful old hotel. And I know they had just done a remodel recently. I don't know exactly when it was, but it looks pretty nice in here to me. Uh, it's about quarter to nine if it's not already nine o'clock or right around 8 30 something like that joe has set up a reservation at robert irvine's i believe it's the only restaurant that's open right now like fast food Chinese place next to it. oh there's a fast food place that's up next to it but we want to have real food so we're going to kind of cruise around because it's an hour wait to get in the restaurant we're going to cruise around and take a look at the casino and uh talk about history that i know none of and we're going to have dinner craftsmanship went into this. She may be old, 
but she's still holding that beauty. The Laugh Factory. I was there a couple times to see comedians a very, very long time ago. Joe, I'm just following Joe now. We're just kind of walking around looking at stuff before they lock it all up for the night. There's nothing over here. It's empty. Totally empty. I don't know what lounge this is, but it's all closed down and it's just kind of eerie to see it empty like this. Something that used to be packed with so many people having so much fun. And there is a giant section of the floor where they already have started shutdown. Yeah, there's a lot of large areas here where the machines are all the way off now. It's only hours left until it's closed. So we're talking to security for a second and everything is closed. The banquet rooms are closed. The, what used to be the theater is closed. All the machines on this half of the casino are turned off. Robert Irvine's is open. That's where we're having dinner at right now. But walking through here, uh, especially growing up in Vegas, is like taking a trip back in time. And I feel so bad for all the things I took for granted when I was growing up here, because I don't really know a lot about this casino. I just know that I don't want them to tear it down because I've seen it all throughout the years of growing up here, and now it's going away. It's like walking through a ghost town parts of this casino. It's like walking through a ghost town. It's like walking through history, but to hear all the interactions of all the people around us, having a good time, sitting at the bar, having dinner, it's just a little bit weird knowing that at 12 o'clock today, as you're seeing this video, these doors will be closed forever. But enough of me yammering for right now. I'm gonna go in here and eat, and then we're gonna do some more exploring throughout the casino. Now, I ate in here with the food cat, I don't know, about a year ago. Yeah. Video is on the channel, of course. Shameless plug. So I've had the food here before and it's not bad. I'm just starving, so at this point I'm gonna eat about anything. But look at all the people in here. Look at how busy this place is. Hour wait to get in. Tons of people. Robert Irvine is literally one of my daughter's favorite chefs. And I don't remember what I had last time. I know that what I had last time wasn't like my favorite, it was good. So I'm just gonna try to find something easy, cheap, have something good to eat. This is it guys. This is our last meal at the Tropicana Hotel. Now I ordered the big ass cheeseburger because I saw one go by and I'm like, yeah, I gotta have that. And uh, Joe talked me into doing these loaded tater tot things that are covered in everything that they have back there. But they're actually running out of food. Like I said earlier, they're, they're probably gonna start running out of food. And they are. But um, I got what I wanted to eat, so that's all that matters to me. Ordered some chicken fingers as a table starter. Oh, and they came with carrots and celery. Not very healthy, but I don't care tonight. Mm -hmm. How's the ranch? Well, not bad though. 
very uh, Hidden Valley-esque flavor of ranch, where it's like a little oily. But, chicken fingers are pretty good. The burgers have arrived. Seriously, guys, that might be the last meal we ever have here, but look at that meal. That looks really good. Nice presentation. They didn't skip on anything except for you. That's what you ordered, though. She ordered two sliders naked, and that's what she got, two sliders naked. But they look, they're kind of cute looking. They look like toy hamburgers. Too funny. I'm sorry, but they really do look like toys. <laughs> Too funny. Definitely gonna check out these loaded tops right now. They're covered in some kind of fondue. It looks like sour cream, bacon bits. That looks really freaking good. Mm. Cheese sauce is really good. I'm not a big fan of these stringy kind of onions. I mean, I don't mind them, but there's like way too many. It's like an onion burger. What's going on here? They're just not my favorite. And they, I see they have Joe's favorite lettuce on here too, shredded. He loves shredded lettuce. Look, it even has the Robert Irvine's on the top of the bun. I don't know which way it goes, maybe like that. Who knows? But uh, it's got a nice big, thick chunk of meat right there. Rosie's looking around like, everybody's staring at you. I don't care. I'm gonna eat my burger. Who gives <laughs> All right, here we go. Actually, Rosie doesn't give a shit. Oh. <laughs> mm. That, I wish I would've ordered this the first time we ate here, because I think I got a pizza and I wasn't a big fan of it. But this, even with a little bit of red onion that's left on there, and the shredded lettuce is really, really flavorful. Mm. Well, I don't know if they're opening another Robert Irvine's. I hope they do. This burger's worth it. I mean, well, it's a good burger. I don't remember how much I paid for it. Probably a lot. It is a Las Vegas trip. But it's a good burger. And pour a little Frank's Red Hot in your uh, in your ranch and dip your tater tots. It's amazing. And it's not just because I'm starving, but this burger really is good. So I do, I mean, mine came medium. Joe's came well done. And I ordered my medium, he orders his medium. So nah, 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 nah. Anyway, it's a, it's a really good burger. It's probably not worth the $30 I paid for it, but it's a good burger. So check it out guys, I bumped into video Bob Mosley out here while we're doing our uh, closing of the Tropicana. Awesome, awesome channel. It's Walker Central in here. Oh, they're, they're the everywhere. Yeah. Here. Everybody's walking around the whole place mm -hmm. with their recorders out. Yeah, it's, everybody's in here. We've already bumped into Turn It Up World. I've seen bloggers and, and camera guys from all over the world. So, but he's staying here tonight. I'm staying here tonight. Six hundred bucks. It was it was like five hundred dollars plus resort fees and taxes. And I go, why are there resort fees on the last night when there's no resort? And then there's incidental fees. <laughs> And then they have an extra $50 they charge you for incidentals because they know we're going to steal everything that's in the room. <laughs> and when I got to my room, there's nothing in the room. Like, all the stuff that you could steal has been removed. Hear that, guys? No stealing tonight. Like, oh, my God. That's I mean, funny, I just take the pillows and the blankets. There you go. But, like, there was no room menus or, or books. or There's no Gideon Bible. There's nothing in there wow. that you could steal. Wow. You didn't even get I'm, your Tropicana robe. There's oh, yeah, no robe, nothing. I mean, I'm like, at this point, I'm going to go get some screwdrivers and take the fixtures off the walls because <laughs> you got to steal tried, something. Somebody tried walking out with the phone, a yeah. phone handle. They got caught by security. All right. Oh, that's cool. Grab you got to stay. The table. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> it was great to see you, man. It really oh, yeah, was. Yeah. Yeah. Love the see channel. Watch everything you do. Oh, that was a good dinner. But as usual, I can never finish any kind of potato that I get, whether it be French fries or tater tots. 
You notice that burger's gone now. Looks like a giant massacre happened right there. Joe's potatoes look like he was making a volcano or digging a pit out of it. a slice of blueberry cheesecake. I think it's blueberry. Well, there's blueberries on the plate, but it's got some kind of like... I think they're just trying to get rid of product, you know what I mean? Yeah, something. They cheesecake, yeah. they threw in the chocolate sauce, they threw in four blueberries they found in the corner. Four blueberries they found in the corner. <laughs> it looks like it has a creme brulee top too, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so it's a hodgepodge <laughs> of everything. It really is. <laughs> Joe said, I know you don't eat sugar. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> It does have a creme brulee coating on the top, but like a like creme brulee at the top of the cheesecake. Yeah. And mixed with the chocolate and the blueberry, it is really, really good. Delicious. Keep in mind, Robert Irvine is not connected to the Tropicana. It's just his restaurant. But 50 cents for each side of ranch we ordered. What is this, McDonald's? I mean, come on. Most restaurants you go to, you ask for ranch, they just bring it out to you. But for two burgers, some chicken fingers, and some sliders, $151.18 total. And I thought, that's freaking ridiculous. I didn't know what to say. $151 for basically three burgers and some chicken fingers? That's, can you say we just got totally probed. What was that? With no lube. <laughs> we basically just got uh, an appetizer, some burgers, and one dessert. Some coffee. Oh yeah, and a beer. So, uh, like somebody said, maybe they should close down. <laughs> I feel like I've been violated. Well, that'll be the last time I eat here. <laughs> Literally. Yep, and the machines have been gutted as well. Look how barren and empty it is. It's everything, it's like a blowout sale. It's a fire sale. Why isn't this damn thing working, man? We got Mark playing one of the last games. Uh, but wait, I don't. Wait, this is not even on, Mark. What? What are you doing? Are you even allowed to be back here? All these machines are turned off, Mark. Maybe I'm not supposed to be here. There is so many areas that are closed off that we can't even get to anymore, and people are taking pictures and getting their memories. I don't know the significance of the bamboo wall, but it's hella cool. Tropical, I guess. Oh, there's a Joe. I forgot how really small the Tropicana is inside. There is a lot to see. We're just trying to make a video to see if they're gonna toss us out of here at 12 o'clock tonight because we don't know what the hell they're doing. I know they close at 12 tomorrow afternoon, but I don't know what's gonna happen at 12 tonight. We do have a Chillum? Chillum. I guess it's called Chillum, the bar over here. Looks like it's all frozen drinks though. I guess when you're the only bar that's actually open, you're going to be the busiest bar, because it sure is. I'm trying to see if I see anybody famous other than Turn It Up World in here. Look at them. Look at them with all their adoring fans. <laughs> The high limit room is like a storage area now. There's 
There's the theater. We can't get back here no more. All these areas are closed down. And the bar that I was looking at from the top earlier, it's all closed down. There is a whole bunch going in one small area of this casino. This is where all the table games are. Even all the high limit slots are shut off. I think they leave these on. <laughs> Get that last little bit of cash. This is Adriano Viva something. You know I can't pronounce last names. Viva la viva la viva la viva. Hey! <laughs> Totaliano, hey! I met him while I was walking through uh, Tropicana closing, obviously. So, very cool, man. Very cool. Me. He's awesome, man. Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe to his, his channel because he is awesome. He is totally awesome. Oh, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, he does. You're awesome, man. Thank you. All Appreciate right, you. Have Thanks, a good man. one. Yep, have a good one. This is Danny, guys. Yeah, Danny Vegas. Da oh, Danny Vegas. Yeah, Too Danny funny. Vegas. So uh, tell me, what do you think about all this? Man, it's I'm uh, kind of emotional. I'm sad about it. Oh, I'm very sad because, about it. Because uh, when I arrived in Las Vegas in uh, 1987, uh, the, this is the first buffet I went to. Oh, really? And then I used to go swimming here at the pool and everything. So. Oh, that's awesome, man. Yeah. So. Really cool, and uh, your channel's awesome. By the way. Oh, gee, you don't have to do but that. It, but <laughs> the episode when you ate at Vicky's and had the oh. last meal there. Oh yeah. That, that was really cool. That's one that'll stick. That that's one that'll that'll hang on my heart for a long time because yeah. that was an emotional video yeah. to make. Yeah. No, this oh. is very historic. Opened in 1957. Yeah, and they're closing it two days before its 67th yeah, birthday. They should have closed it on April 4th. Yeah, exactly. To make it, you know, 67 years exactly. Okay. But yeah, I'm been here. I'm just soaking up the atmosphere and feeling the vibes, you know. And it's sad though, but yeah. you know, what do you <laughs> yeah. do? It's great to talk to you, man. Thanks for being on and camera. You too. God bless you. Thank Keep you for good you. work. Thank you. What's your name, boss? They, they call me TJ. We got to go out with a bang. Really? What do you think about this whole uh, Tropicana closing? Oh, you know, it's very historic. Got to go out with a bang. That, that's all I can say. Yep. My man's going out with a bang. <laughs> right on, man. Thanks. We officially got a Tropicana souvenir. It only costs 20 bucks. 35 cent voucher from the Tropicana. This is it. This is the only spot in all of the Tropicana that is active right now and it's over by the bar. There's literally nothing else going on in the rest of the casino, but everybody over here is having a great party. And then of course you got the table games, but that's it. This whole little area of the casino is where all the action is going down. The final night. At this point, we're just waiting until 12 o'clock to see what happens. Is the pumpkin gonna come? Is Cinderella gonna find her slipper? I have no idea. It's the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Oh no, it wasn't filming. Yeah, it was. It was, it, it was. was. It was filming, filming. it was yeah, filming. I just can't see the stupid white line. <laughs> Can I get six chips? Oh, sure. The other 20. Oh, yeah, more? Yeah, yep. You want some more? Up, man. Thank you, my friend. Only four minutes. Yeah. So all gaming is closing at midnight. So we were right. There's rumors about two, three. The doors are closing at three. All gaming is closing at 12. And the bar is calling last call. Joe, at 12 o'clock, they're shutting everything down. Yeah, I just talked to him. And this will be the last time I get to throw my chips down at the table at Tropicana. There they go. They had uh, $5 chips they were selling right at the table, so I went ahead and picked up four of them. Um, that's pretty cool because when we got here, I was told they were only selling $25 chips, so I'm glad I got four of these. We'll keepsake forever. I had to move across from the bar because we were told we can't sit at a vacant table. I get it. It's all gaming rules.
So we'll hang out over here until they're close. That's it guys, 12 o'clock. Everything's supposed to stop at 12. I haven't heard any announcements or anything. Well, and I see the roulette wheel spin it again. Well, I think bets are done. Maybe they're done. Oh, they're letting them throw one more bet down. Or they're cashing out, one or the other. Yep. It's all done, guys. It's all done. Too bad. Yeah. You gotta get all for what? Our bit of a baseball team, they should play baseball in Yucca Mountain. Their toxic blend of pathetic baseball is <laughs> great at Yucca Mountain. So this guy obviously doesn't want to drop a can of clothes. No. <laughs> the A's, I don't call them the A's, I call them the A's. The Oakland Fs or the Oakland L. <laughs> They're pathetic. Yeah, go ahead, tell them how you really feel. No, we're all for it. Go ahead. Pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> right, very good at Yucca Mountain. There you go, Joe. <laughs> That's it. Everything's closing down. They're clearing all the tables out now. People are uh, grabbing their chips or cashing out. Cards are getting put away. Balls from the roulette table are gone. No more dice. It's done. No more gaming. And every single machine is off now. Every single machine is off. They're all done. Every one of them is turned off. Well, that's it. We're gonna head out now. It's just after 12. Tables are empty. It's done. Other YouTubers or vloggers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what do you think, man? I think it's over. You think it's over? I think it's over. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? It's a thing. I guess it's a bad thing for people like you that you're gonna miss the proper language. But but did, did we ever go to the Tropicana? Never. Never. Never came here. <laughs> in, in, in the five years I've been a YouTuber, I've been here one time. Exactly. This is the second one. Exactly. So. so yeah, I'll be missed. But hey, uh, on to bigger, better things. Hopefully the ballpark uh, is a good thing for the city, and uh, can't wait. Change is good. Exactly. And if you think I believe any of that, I have an airplane I'd like to sell you. Just comment below. More than anything, I just wanted to have evidence, history on my channel from this iconic hotel. It's still, I still had a lot of fun. It was hard to get any shots because there were so many people in such a compact area. There wasn't a lot going on, just people drinking, partying. Gonna miss this place. Even though I never came to it, <laughs> still gonna miss seeing it on the strip. If you guys like the video, check out my other ones. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, homies.